I'm George Inglis, the Director of Research Through People. <clears throat> we get a lot of questions about surnames, where they came from, what they mean, and so on and so forth. So we've been making a series of videos about different types of surnames. And this one is about the fourth and last type of surname, nicknames. Now, I'm sure if you look at the names at the top of this uh, slide, you'll recognise virtually all of them. Did you realise that they started life as nicknames for the person who had them? So let's look at this in more detail. And what we've been doing is imagining an ancient village before surnames came along. And the main reason people got a surname was that it was something that distinguished them from other people. There were things to do with the place they may have come from, uh, things to do with their relationship. They were the son of someone. It may have been the occupation they did. And you can see in, in this screen various people, uh, names of Robin and John, their son might be called Robinson Johnson. Uh, the uh, um, places they came from, this was an imaginary village in Stafford, and there's places called Aldridge and Litchfield. Occupations, in most places there was a smith and a tailor and a shepherd. And this last category is nicknames. Now, we've got people here who were short or strong, as simple as that, that distinguished them. So that's what where nicknames came from. So let's look at this, and here we have the various types of surname. We've looked at local surnames, relationship and occupation, and you can look at our videos about that after this. What we're gonna look at here is nicknames. So there's various types of nicknames. You can imagine someone with a physical description. They may be brown, they may look, they may have been strong in arm and so on, short and strong. You can imagine that will become a surname. And again, I'm sure you probably know someone with all of these surnames here. In different countries, in Ireland, Kelly mean bright-headed. Campbell, crooked mouth, a description of that person. Then character, and again, good spot. You just look through these lists and you can imagine someone who had that sort of characteristic, a good person, a bold person, a wise person, and so on. That became their surname. And Ireland Murphy meant sea battler. And then other sorts, the animal or bird. And again, you recognize all of the, these names. It's something particularly applied to that person. Perhaps they looked like that or they had a connection. And again, that's where that name came from. Seasons, winter, summer, May, Christmas. Again, you know, I'm sure you can recognize the names. <clears throat> and that was something that had an association with that particular person. The first person to get that surname. And then we have ancestors coming all the way down the centuries to people who live now. And then others, Shakespeare, Bullock, Death. There were some quite crude descriptions of people. I'll leave you to work out some if you wish. Death, very often people try to change that name. So the apostrophe and so on. Now, a key point about this is don't assume because someone's got the same name as you, there is a blood relationship. You can imagine all of these people being called this without being related to anyone else who had the same name. So that's a brief description of that. Um, we're very, very happy to help you look into your surname and look into your ancestry and bring it to life. Obviously, the first person to get the surname lived many centuries ago. We can't unlikely we can get back that far but we can very often get back at least 200 years and probably more and really bring to life your ancestors so feel free to get in touch we have a free consultation there are videos like this on youtube um, there are contact details there so we look forward to hearing from you